Hi guys, and welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, actually probably a few weeks ago, I did a video on Gabor's high society wig in the shade sugared nickel. Um, it's gorgeous, 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 dimensional shade of gray. I love this bob. So today's video isn't necessarily about the style of the wig because I did touch base on that in the last video that I did about this wig, which I will put the link below to that other video. But this is about a different shade. Now, the shade of this is toasted pecan. Some people say pecan. I say pecan. This color is great. And there's a couple of reasons why I love this color. In the first place, this is very cool toned friendly. Now I'm fair skinned. I have pink undertones. Cooler colors definitely look better on me than warmer colors do. Um, I'm not saying I can't wear warmer colors, but when I do, I have to take special care with makeup and make sure that the color clothing that I'm wearing isn't really going to clash with the color of the wig. So I do prefer a cooler toned wig. Now what's great about this is that it's an ashy blonde, which definitely makes it a lot more um, cool toned friendly. I think ashy shades work very well with women who have some cool or pink tonedness to their skin tone. I'm no expert. I'm no beauty guru or anything like that. All I can tell you is as a cool toned person, if it works for me, chances are it's going to be a good choice for you as well. Um, you know, I don't want to sound preachy about it. I'm just suggesting, suggesting. But anyway, the other thing that I think is really good about this wig is that if you don't want to go full on gray, but let's say you have darker hair, but your bio hair is darker and you're getting tired of dyeing it you don't want to dye it anymore, but you don't want to go gray. I think a shade like this is wonderful because in certain light, it looks like it can be a little bit more gray toned. And in certain light, it looks like it can be a little bit more brown with frosting. So overall, I think it's a really great choice of color. I love this pecan color. I think it's wonderful. And I think one of the things that Gabor does so well are their shades of color. Like I love a great shade and there are certain brands that I think do a wonderful, wonderful, like a wonderful thing with their colors. Um, Gabor happened to hit it with this. And there aren't, you know, like there aren't many cool toned friendly shades out there, especially when it comes to um, the darker shades. So it's kind of difficult. That's one of the reasons why Aesthetic is Caramel Kiss is one of my favorite colors because I think it's a universal color and I think it looks great on everybody. But I just wanted to give you a short, 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 short video on this shade. Again, I love this bob. I love the way the ends are bumped. Oh. Mm. I love this. I think this is a very chic wig. I just, I, I don't know. I love this wig. I really do. Um, look at the hairline. How good is that, huh? So that's it. I was just doing a little tiny color comparison. So if you are thinking about going a little blonder or maybe you don't want to go gray, but you don't want to keep coloring your hair, 
this is a great solution. So that's it. This is Gabor's High Society in toasted pecan, and maybe I'll go make some pecan pie right now. Take care. I will see you later.